Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special video for me because obviously I love fashion but I love oversized clothes. Like I have always loved oversized clothes. I think this comes from the time period in my life when I used to be obese, fat um, and I used to conceal myself in these oversized t-shirts, pants, sweatshirts but later on in life when I joined fashion college I think till that time this was in the um, 2010s, the early 2000s so oversized had become a huge trend and I absolutely love oversized clothes. I specifically love Hailey Baldwin's Bieber. I love her style. I love how she pulls off oversized shirts, oversized sweatshirts, track pants, um, jackets. Her uh, big masculine padded shoulders, coat, blazers. I absolutely love her style. So today I'm going to show you how to absolutely rock the oversize. Just listen. The kaftan dress or the trapeze dress or the ten dress. These dresses that do not have a lot of shaping and darting in them should be cut off at midi lengths or above the ankle at least. Showing the ankle breaks the box-like figure of the dress. Showing the ankles gives shaping that is missing in the dress. With a midi dress like this, pairing heels create length like you see here. I paired both with minimal gold jewellery. I am totally digging the oversized pants trend now, though there was a time when I thought it made me look weird. I've paired this corduroy paper bag waist pants, actually a makeshift paper bag waist, with a low cut armhole bodysuit. The bodysuit is seen as coming out of the paper bag which defines the waistline here and the pants cut off at the ankles, hence creating a balance on the upper and the lower halves of the body. Now with this high waist slouchy jeans, since I'm covering a shoulder and half my arm, I've chosen a crop top that is a little below my under bust and shows my midriff, keeping the overall silhouette hourglass. I've paired this with some low top sneakers and I've folded my hem so that my ankle shows here as well, keeping the balance intact. Like you saw in my last video too, I love large baggy tees. So today I'm going to challenge those who say loose on loose do not go together. The biggest trick with doing oversize on oversize is to create body length vertically, that is creating height. I pair long flowy palazzo pants with this tee so long that it hides my thick sole dad shoes. The pants create an illusion as to not showing where my leg starts, where my knee is located and where my foot ends. The flowy palazzos elongate the body. I also like tucking my t-shirt asymmetrically like from one end into my waistband so that gives a sneak peek of my waistline where exactly it is. It specifically works even better if the pants are high waist. And that my friends is the magician's secret. Listen. With an oversized shirt like this one, with this length, it's very important to create balance. I've paired the famous biker shorts or you could also pair leggings or skinny jeans. I keep the last two buttons unbuttoned like a slit that would give a sneak peek of my high waist.
I also like to throw the collar back showing the decolletage and then tuck the shirt in front to make it look like a surplus top. The juxtaposition of the puffiness on the top and the skinny body hugging bottoms creates balance. Okay now, I am using the term balance a lot but ultimately it is about creating balance, top to bottom or left to right. Like in this second outfit, I left the shirt untucked, last two buttons unbuttoned and the sleeves unfolded and paired it with denim shorts, super short denim shorts actually, to give a more casual look. Now to hide some of the leg show, I paired my shoes with ankle top socks. Also, if you have a bum bag, use the bum bag to define your waistline here. But since I don't, I just use a mini crossbody bag. For the first look here, I'm wearing this sweatshirt as a dress and have used this crossbody bag as a bum bag to define my waistline. The tiny skirt length, the skin and the dad shoes balance the huge bulk on top. Now for the second look, I've paired the same sweatshirt with a midi lace slip dress underneath. It is creating a flapper dress type body length and the heels elongates it further. The legs in between break the boxy continuity of the sweatshirt and the slip dress. Now these are the very basic tips to begin to rock the oversize and I hope you guys try it. Do let me know and tag me on my Instagram. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.